Okay, so the first card is creativity, and this is the Empress card, and this is achieving a lot of financial success and independence, and, you know, uh, just really getting um, back your independence, and being on top of things, and being in charge of things, and, uh, you know, a lot of personal abundance coming to you uh, after having worked very, very hard for it. So, uh, you know, you're being very creative in what you're doing as well with this creativity card. She's, uh, it's a card ruled by uh, Venus and it's talking about a lot of power, a personal power coming into your hand. So you've got the playfulness card over here, and this is the page of um, rods, and this is about, you know, uh, you need to lighten up and have a little bit of fun as well. Uh, you might be doing some travel, uh, but also uh, having a, a lot of social contacts, so making a lot of new friends as well. Now, uh, you've been feeling very, very left out and very, very isolated, so maybe it is time for you to get out there and socialize with this playfulness card because you have been feeling, you can see, left out in the cold, locked out of uh, you know, uh, social events or locked out of uh, um, friendships. Uh, so, you know, feeling very, very uh, alone, uh, you know, almost looking in uh, like a child looking into a sweet shop, uh, looking in all the fun and not being able to enjoy it because you've been so focused on your work and so focused on achieving your financial goals uh, that it's left you socially isolated. So it is time for you to get out there and go and have some fun and get out there and go, go and uh, make some new friends uh, and try to, uh, you know, um, be a more childlike, uh, you know, see the fun side of life rather than being focused so much on work. So in the past, you've got uh, the postponement or the Four of uh, Swords card. So you've been putting off uh, doing things that you needed to do. Um, you know, you've got um, uh, this. This is a card about, you know, uh, trying to get over um, you know, heartbreak situation or getting over, uh, being isolated or getting over a difficult, um, uh, situation. So it is the four of uh, swords, um, and uh, it is time for you to heal. Maybe you've, this is what you've been doing. You've been healing from situations, uh, where you've had heartbreak. Um, and then you've got the, the nine of cups over here. So something, um, has, you know, you've got a lot of wish fulfillment over here with this uh, Nine of Cups. This is the wish card. But it's also talking about being satisfied and enjoying on, you know, whatever you've been working for. So you've got that financial independence, uh, but it's also uh, sitting back and enjoying the fruits of all your labor. It's it's the laziness card. It's really doing nothing in particular, just sitting back and enjoying your um whatever you've worked for, enjoying your own company, uh, but spending a lot of time by yourself nevertheless. Uh, and, you know, just really um, not really doing much in particular. Not really going and being proactive or trying to attract anything in, in particular, but just uh, relaxing and enjoying, um, you know, your own company. Now, uh, going into the future, you've got the uh, ripeness, which is the um, nine of uh, pentacles over here. So you are going to achieve financially and you have, are going to have a lot of su success coming to you. You've got this fruits of your labor and you enjoying the fruits of your labor. So it seems like, you know, there's a lot of recognition coming to you, uh, but still being by yourself a lot. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is... Uh, um, uh, enjoying whatever you've been working so hard for. So although, you know, you've been focused a lot on your work and you will reap the be benefits from that. Then you've got the possibility card over here. So this is a two of rods. And this is trying to make up, uh, make a decision about what you want to do next. So uh, reaching the fork uh, in the road, uh, trying to find a new path or trying to find new possibilities of, of doing, you know, trying to find a new endeavor, really, and that's what you're going to be deciding. Uh, you know, a lot of communication, you might be doing some traveling as well. So you're going to reach a point um, in the not-too-distant future where you have to make a decision about what you're going to do next because you would have achieved a lot. So whatever you set your mind to, you are now reaping, going to be reaping the rewards of that. But, you know, you're going to be um, at a point where you have to make a decision about what you want to do next. So it's time for you to go out there and have some fun, make some friends and stop isolating yourself. And you will need to make a decision soon about what you want to do for the future. So um, coming up with some new future plans. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Art Nouveau Tarot. Okay.
Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Emperor card over here. This is showing you taking control of your situation. You're very, very much in charge of your surroundings. You're in control of your finances. You're very organized. Uh, you know, you know exactly what you want. And, you know... Um, this, the emperor is sitting alone on his throne, though. So although you have everything in hand and you are on top of everything, you're still alone and you haven't um, uh, gotten yourself into any kind of relationship. Maybe you're worried uh, about getting into a relationship. Maybe it hasn't worked out for you in the past. Uh, but uh, you're spending a lot of time by yourself. And, you know, it can be lonely up there on the top. So, you know, maybe it is time for you to get out there and, and make some friends. You have deliberately isolated yourself, it seems. Uh, maybe you just really don't want to get involved with all the drama of a relationship. But you're very much in control, very much in charge, and very financially independent as well. So what's happening with you? You've got the chariot card over here and the priestess. So the chariot is about movement. So you might be thinking about traveling. You might be thinking about buying a new home or even buying a new car. But you're definitely taking control. You're, again, very much in a leadership you know, you're in charge of your life, really. And you, you're not really uh, getting involved in any kind of, kind of drama, any kind of relationship drama. Um, and, you know, you are achieving and you're achieving success as well. Um, you know, you're working hard for it and you're achieving that success. Now, you've got the priestess card again. And this is also about being alone or not in a relationship, keeping to yourself and not really being very, very proactive in trying to bring a relationship into your arena. So, you know, you're letting things happen, you're going with the flow, but you're not very actively seeking any kind of companionship. You might be involved in a lot of study and a lot of research, um, you know, uh, that kind of thing. So you're really not very interested in, uh, you know, getting um, involved in any kind of relationship, it seems. So in the past, you've got the Queen of Staves over here. So this is you being very, very independent uh, and, uh, you know, taking control of that. You've got that rod in your hand over here. So you're taking control of the situation. You know, you're um, in some kind of leadership position, in some kind of management position. People see you as being uh, somebody who's very attractive, somebody who, uh, you know, is very dynamic and, uh, uh, you know, somebody who uh, gets on with doing things, a very proactive person in the sense that, you know, you get your job done, uh, you, you are very much in charge of your life, but still, you know, uh, somebody who um, is not that keen on getting involved with a lot of people. So, you know, you're a very social person in the sense that, you know, you're easy to get along with, easy to communicate with, uh, but not, not somebody who gets really involved too much in a relationship. You don't really have the time for it. You're a very, very busy person. You might be a person also that travels quite a bit with this queen of staves which is the queen of rods you've got the strength card over here so here again you know you spend it seems like you do spend a lot of time uh you've been spending a lot of time by yourself you see and it seems like maybe you're getting back to nature again uh but you're in charge of everything and you're in control you've you know whatever problems you have you deal with it and here you are you know you've got a very spiritual side as well to you so you've been spending a lot of time by yourself maybe a lot of time in meditation as well now, what you want, you do want a relationship to come in, and you want something that's on equal footing. So, who, um, you know, you're trying to make that decision about whether or not you should get involved in any kind of relationship. But the relationship that you want um, to come in is something that you have equal power with with the next person. So, um, I mean, with a partner, you want to have that balanced kind of relationship where there's an equal power sharing going on. So going to the future, you've got the Eight of Rods over here. So this is about freedom. So you have your freedom in hand. You can do what you like with it. And it doesn't seem like you answer to anybody. You are on your own buzz, really. So it seems like there might be some travel coming in for you as well. A lot of communication going on, but it looks like there might be some international travel coming in for you as soon. Now you've got a choice or decision to make. This could be a, a new relationship coming in, a very, very physical relationship coming in with a lover's card, or you having to make a choice about what you want to do next. So you're reaching that point where you have to decide and, you know, decide pretty soon about what you want out of life and, you know, really decide what is worth um, going for. If it's the financial aspect and you're happy with the material things in life, then that is all well and good. Uh, or if you want to have a relationship. So you're reaching some kind of crossroads in your life about what you you need to do. So what's going on around you? You've got the six of rods over here. Uh, you know, this is usually the card of victory after a lot of uh, difficult problems. Uh, 
you know, in the normal uh, tarot, in this re relationship tarot, it's about being, maybe you were in a relationship with somebody and maybe you want to reconcile with this person. Maybe, maybe you know, you broke up with this person because you weren't getting along, but maybe you want to, uh, you know, put aside your differences and, uh, you know, uh, get back together with this person again. And if that is the way you want to do it, then it looks like that may be something that, um, you know, may come into your arena. Maybe this person approaches you again and uh, you may reconcile with this particular person. So um, you've got the three of rods over here. So that relationship, uh, you know, that you are reviewing at this particular moment uh, may not have go gotten along you, you may not have gotten along too well. You may have had a lot of disagreements. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, you all didn't see things uh, from the same angle. Uh, maybe there were things that you liked and they didn't like, and you can see this, you know, you all didn't really communicate or you all didn't really get along too well. You all didn't work well together. There was no cooperation. And you're worried that if you get into another relationship, maybe that could be the case, that, you know, you all not, are not going to be able to work together on the same goal. So this is the thing that is in your hopes and fears. You're worried that you may not be able to uh, get along or you may not be able to work together. You may not be able to work together well. So going to the future, uh, you've got the two of swords over here, the magician and uh, the nine of cups over here. So it seems like this person that you were previously involved in, uh, you know, there was a lot of power struggle going on over here. You can see that both of these people fighting for the sword. So it's almost as though you're, you know, one of you was always trying to get the last word in. So there's always this power struggle going on about who was in charge and who, you know, whose word mattered more than the next. And it seems like, you know, you all had reached some kind of stalemate. Your, uh, you know, there was a lot of conflict because, uh, you know, uh, you couldn't decide who was in charge in that relationship. So there seems to have been quite a big power struggle. And, you know, getting back together, with this person seems it seems like it's going to bring uh, resurrect that problem again that there is going to be a prob you know uh, uh, an issue with communication but also an issue with uh, who is going to be in charge in that particular relationship so if you reconcile with this person even if you lay aside your problems and decide to reconcile with this person it seems like that uh, particular problem is going to rear its head again about uh, who's in charge now, you are working pretty hard trying to manifest a relationship with this magician card over here. So there's, uh, you know, you're going to reach a point where, um, you know, you're going to be very, very busy uh, and you might be doing a lot of travel as well. Uh, so you're also trying to manifest a relationship uh, and you're working pretty hard at that. So you do feel that that is lacking in your life right now and you are trying to work on that particular thing. And it looks like you are going to get your wish fulfillment. So the relationship that you want will come in for you. It doesn't necessarily mean it's that resurrection of the old relationship. It might be something brand new that comes in with this nine of cups uh, where, you know, you have a relationship uh, where you and the person are very, very happy and um, it seems, uh, you know, you have your wishes fulfilled. So whatever you're working on, whatever relationship you're working to manifest, it looks like it's going to be coming into your arena. You're going to get that wish fulfillment and you're going to be very, very satisfied in that relationship when it comes in. So it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, if you can sort out um, the power struggle issues between you and this partner, it might end up being some a very good relationship. On the other hand, you might decide that you want to go, uh, you want to start a brand new relationship. Maybe this lover's card is that choice that you have to make, whether you want to start a brand new relationship or you want to reconcile with this particular person. Either way, uh, you know, whatever happens, uh, whatever you manifest, whatever you decide to manifest is going to be, uh, you know, you're going to get what you want. You are going to end up eventually with a relationship that you're very, very happy. It's a very caring relationship and it's going to fulfill all your wishes, meet all your needs and tick all the boxes that you have set out. But in the meantime, it looks like you might be doing some uh, some travel or, or you're just enjoying your freedom at this particular moment. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. So you've got the Ace of Michael over here, which says a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So if you're having problems, uh, you know, deciding or communicating with this person, you need to actually uh, try and work on that communication problem if you're deciding to reconcile with somebody at this particular moment. You've got the perspective card over here, which says it's a better way. Um, pause for reflection and insight and dare to be different. 
So it looks like, you know, you're going to have to approach this particular relationship from a very different point of view. You might just have to wait for things to happen. This is the hangman. Uh, so this is talking about doing things from a very, very different perspective or looking at things, looking at that relationship in a different light and understanding it from a different perspective in order for you to for you to make it work. You can't go back doing it the same old way because it's going to produce the same old effects. So you've got to do it if you want to reconcile with uh, somebody from the past, um, you know, and it didn't work out because of a lack of communication. You're going to have to sort out that communication issue, uh, you know, be very honest and open with this person, and you're going to have to approach this relationship from a very, very different uh, um, perspective. And the last one is the six of Raphael, which says embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships um, or rekindled childhood. So it looks like, you know, this person, uh, you do want to uh, reconcile with this person uh, because you've got that six of Raphael, which is like the six of cups is going back to an old relationship. Uh, but you're going to have to clear up your communication uh, with this person. And, um, you know, you're going to have to approach the relationship from a completely different point of view. So it seems like, you know, you want to um, set aside the differences, your differences with this person, um, but uh, it's going to take, uh, you know, and there's still that power struggle going on here and a difficulty in communication because they're both grappling with the sword over here. But if you work on it, it looks like if you work on it with this magician card, you put all your effort into it, it might end up being something, you know, that you are really, really happy with. And it's going to be something that's very fulfilling. So it looks like, you know, you have to make some kind of choice um, or, you know, you, that relationship could be some, you know, this could be somebody that you're still very, very attracted to. And uh, getting back together again with this person, you have to make some kind of choice about how you want to take things. So, um, you know, you need to, to, to do some really long, hard thinking about whatever's going on and decide what you want to do. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.